hi today in this video i'm going to talk about uh, what is uh, a front office what is a back office and what is a middle office in the context of uh, finance right you probably have heard about these terminologies on my channel but also elsewhere probably um, that uh, you know there are front office roles there are back office roles and there are middle office roles so question is uh, what are these roles right um, what is uh, a front office what is a back office and what is a middle office right uh, in the world of finance these terminologies are used quite uh, frequently and if you want to work in finance i think it's good to that uh, good to be familiar with familiarize yourself with these jargons right easy to understand but sometimes can be a bit confusing for outsiders or the ones who have just started in the world of finance right so uh, so what is a front office right as the name suggests it's uh, is it's in the front front in the sense that uh, you know the people who work there actually face the customers right uh, there are two types of businesses right for most uh, financial service industry uh, companies either they are into lending or they are into asset management wealth management you no know, or trading right so you, uh, but both uh, on lending side or also on the trading side you have uh, front office roles right and these are people who actually make money for the financial service companies right um, the, the back office people and the you know middle office people do contribute to that indirectly but they don't bring revenue directly right front office people bring revenue directly and that that's why they are they are considered more important for the organizations and that's where actually people also make more money more bonuses and so on right i'm i'm going to talk about that a bit later but let's try to understand who what are these roles right in front office right uh, these are sales people right they sell products to customers different type of customers corporate customers uh, mid size company customers um, governments financial institutions central banks um, uh, family offices um, non government uh, organizations ngos or could be retail customers within retail customers also you have you know segregation depending on the product type and so on and so forth right so um, these are the people who actually talk to the customers directly for the uh, you know for granting credit right on the trading and wealth management side uh, yeah, these people also talk to the clients to to sort of you know get the money but also take decision uh, on the transactions right on behalf of the client right um so so there is a lot of interactions uh, between uh, the client and and the and the employee of the uh, organization uh, middle office and 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 back office people don't have uh, or very rarely have direct interaction with with clients although there may be instances where there would be some uh, in uh, interactions but yeah not many interactions i would say um there are many roles available not just uh, direct sales but also let's instance there are many roles in wealth management who you don't uh, directly interact with clients but you do take important decisions right uh, these are basically research roles so you do a lot of research and that really helps people uh, taking you know good decisions for the clients but you don't meet them directly you don't talk to them directly it 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 seem like more of a back office role but it's actually uh a front office role so not a back office but a middle office role but it's actually a front office role because you do contribute to the revenue directly right um uh investment banking is where you know people talk to uh the clients very directly and and also um uh face to face um uh, for a variety of things whether it could be for uh merger and acquisition IP ipos and you know those kind of uh, activities uh so they have uh, very direct uh, interactions with uh, with the clients right different kinds of clients mostly corporate clients uh but also there could be non corporate clients as well right um there are also many uh, you know specific research roles uh, also in front of us for example one of my friend is working at a deutsche bank and she's uh, doing research on fx uh she is not directly talking to clients but she is a, just a researcher doing research on uh, on fx um so you may be doing research on various things uh, could be on an asset class or could be on sectors could be on you know macroeconomic variables uh countries country risk and all of that so um yeah so there are many roles in front office where you could be doing just research and yet be called 
as a front office employee right and you get all the benefits of of other uh, like uh, other people in front office get like you know good bonus and etc etc right um there are also roles on advisory side where you advise clients and take a fee so it's more like uh, a fee based uh, business for uh, financial organizations uh yeah so um that's also one type of front office role uh, do quants in work in front office yes they do there are many uh, quant traders out there uh, who actually work closely uh, with with the traders and and they are also considered front office uh, people um there are many uh, quants actually who uh, have worked in the middle office as a risk manager or modeler but they moved to research department of front office and you know even though they're still uh, quants at heart they do a lot of you know quantitative research but the work is a bit different and and you know they 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 also are considered as front office guys okay so i i have had colleagues in the past who have moved from you know middle office being a middle office quant to a front office quant so that's also quite possible by the way so uh, many people have this misconception that quants always work in the back office or in the middle office and they never on the front but that's actually not true but however uh, let me also tell you that most quant don't interact with clients directly even though they work with at uh, front office uh, rarely have i come across anyone who has direct interaction with clients although i have s- seen people m- changing career from being a quant to becoming an investment manager or a credit analyst or uh, uh, or an in- investment banker that kind of role people have switched uh, from being a quant to to becoming a more sales guy all right so let's talk about middle office right um now middle office uh, works very closely with front office right they help the people who work in middle office they really help the front office guys take decision take better decisions uh, and um, most of the checks and balances are from the middle office right so people in the middle office they don't make money directly for the uh given organization they do, uh, they work with but they actually help reducing the cost the regulatory cost or uh, you know managing uh, uh, or contributing toward uh, towards uh, better risk management so um, so you indirectly contribute towards the uh, you know towards the profitability of the organization right um there are different departments in the middle office uh, risk management and and compliance are the two most important departments uh, in uh, the middle office okay uh, one is risk which is about uh, having checks and balances on on the different activities uh, what is activity on on lending or on the trading and asset management side uh, people who work in risk management they are always in touch with the front office people uh and asking them you know hell lot of questions by the way front office people normally don't like the people who work in middle office because they are always challenged right and without the approval of uh, of uh, middle office uh many transaction won't uh, go through or they will not uh, be approved so the approval committee is mostly uh represented by people from the middle office there are obviously front office people there as well but uh, middle office has a say on most of the decision taken by the front office people it's also a misconception many people have that just because you are facing clients you can do anything and everything that's not true there are uh, people in the risk management who have more power than actually people who work in the front office so uh, there may be exceptions but you know this i have seen uh, this to be the case right modeling people a lot of the people who work in modeling they actually work in middle office also sometimes they have this misconception that they are front office people but actually not in most scenarios especially for working as a modeler in the risk management department you are part of the middle office uh, right and uh, you have quantitative and non quantitative roles in in middle office right the peak there are roles where you don't build models but you do more of a control activities uh, you do more of governance kind of thing but uh, you don't build models uh, but you talk to front office people on a very regular basis uh, ask them question challenge their decision etc etc but there are also people who are very quantitative right people who build models uh, on wealth management side there are different models 
uh, on trading side there are also different models you have valuate risk models your stressed valuate risk all kinds of model whether it's taking decision on um, you know just trading on an asset or uh, building models for risk management purpose for capital reporting purpose on the market side for different different products you have different different models and you have quants they are working there and you have also quants working on the credit side on the lending side who work uh, building models such as pdldd ed models uh, for uh, capital calculation or you know developing scorecard for uh, risk rating or sh- developing stress testing models for regulation uh, for regulatory reporting and etc uh, or you may be working with uh, models such as liquidity assessment uh, treasury related models you could be working with operational risk models so on so forth so there you know uh, many areas within risk management and you have different kinds of modeling requirement in each of this uh, area right similarly uh, compliance is also a very big department within uh, middle office and they are very powerful as well um, there are different kind of compliance requirement and of late compliance is, is being given uh, as much important as the importance given to risk management uh, for a very long time risk management used to uh, get a lot of attention from uh, everyone from government from central banks from uh, you know uh, uh, from from senior management within the organization but compliance is actually getting a lot of attention uh, these days and there a lot of work also there uh, happening there a lot of jobs are there in compliance quantitative modeling is also bit new in compliance but uh, it it is uh, gaining popularity uh, more and more uh, organizations are now building models on compliance area uh, more like the risk area to you know uh, to you know to have better compliance and i think um, a lot of things are happening on kyc front on uh, assessing financial crime on sanctions and access to access to and um, yeah these things are happening in both areas on lending side or also on the trading side uh, many fintechs are inventing a lot of uh, things on on compliance so these are uh, roles in uh, middle office in compliance okay um, but you also have roles such as uh, roles in control policy roles like there are policy writers who write different pol- risk management policy there are people who actually uh, do communication with the regulators uh, or with the government um these are people who don't work with uh, clients directly but they do have a say on a lot of things uh, we're so quite powerful um how about it right uh, it's a good question actually whether it comes in middle office or not so it is is such an area right it sometimes some it people actually work very close to the front office people especially on trading uh, trading area not so much on the lending and and uh, lending side but on the trading side the many id people who work very closely with the traders uh, there are many id people who also work in uh, risk management side especially on the model implementation side especially on managing uh, or maintaining the risk systems reporting systems and so on so forth but uh, a lot of the it folks actually work in the back office side that means they have practically no connection with the front office people they have never worked closely with the uh, sales guys or investment bankers or wealth managers or uh, chief risk officer in you know, those or compliance ops they have they don't work with them right uh, they rather work with uh, more middle office people um okay so so it is a bit tricky uh, but i would put it you know somewhere between uh, middle and back office although in many organizations such as in big organizations like in you know, jpmc and those uh, sct you know these the top investment banks in the world uh, it is considered as back office whereas in um, mid sized banks um, or uh, banks which are not invest just investment banks but they also have other activities uh, at least in europe but i've seen that it is considered more of a middle office thing and not uh, completely a back office right um okay so what are the roles in back office right uh, so back office roles are mostly the ones which are outsourced to different other organizations or they are uh, they, these are roles where you yeah it's it's more operational driven actually it's it's like people work in operation uh, like you know trade settlement reconciliation of data all of that uh, accounting hr customer services you know 
uh, even IT, some IT roles, uh, software development roles. Yeah, these are back office role. A uh, lot of people who work on the data side also, they work uh, on the back office role. Um, who makes the most money? Yes, the guys working uh, in the front office, they make the most money. Um, but some middle office people also make good money. Um, and uh, in my experience, what I've seen uh, is that uh, front office people make at least, you know, 30% more than the back office people on average. You know, I don't have any data to prove that, but it's just a, a ballpark figure. I'm just, I'm telling you, it's, it's just my back of the envelope calculation. Nothing, uh, there's no evidence to prove that. Uh, and I think back up, uh, middle office people make, I think, way more than the back office people. Right. So if you really want to work in finance, uh, and if you're really a finance guy or passionate about finance, I think try for front office. It's never easy to get a role in front office, especially if you're coming from uh, your places where, you know, you don't have that many, you know, big financial uh, service organizations. But if you're based out of the UK, Europe and uh, US and, and Canada and this developed world where finance is a big thing, you know, try to get into uh, front office roles. Um, but even if you can't make it to front office, you can still work in middle office and yet have a very good career. Right. And you can move from middle office to front office. Right. But if you want to do that, do it early in your career, because after you have worked in middle office for 10, 15 years, I think it's a bit difficult to move to front office. Right. The other way around is much easier. By the way, people move from front uh, front office to back office. Um, the more people move from front office to back of uh, sorry, front office to middle office, uh, then the number of people move from middle office to uh, front office. So the other way around is not uh, that easy. Right. Although there are people who do make a transition from middle office to front office, and I've seen many. By the way, and that is actually increasing over time. I think more quantitative people. Uh, or risk manager compliance people are being uh, hired by the front office guys so that's a good uh, a positive change i would say right and if i worked in front of you can always work go back to middle office and back office you know that's uh, that's quite easy um all right um if you have any questions as always let me know in the comment section uh, as always uh, thanks for watching and if you like the video please like it that really helps and if you have questions, uh, don't hesitate to ask me in the comment section, right? Um, I probably will make more videos on this, uh, these topics, right? You know, more how the work environment is in, in the world of finance, because you need an insider story on that. You, you, these things are not, this, these are not there in any books. You can learn technical matters, but the more insider things, uh, are something that, uh, Someone working in the industry can only tell you, right? And, you know, it's not a luxury for many uh, fresh graduates or students to actually hear to the industry professionals. So I thought maybe I'll try to bridge that gap, right? Make videos which are somewhat more, um, less, uh, uh, you know, less related to uh, the topics, uh, but more related to, you know, this work environment, etc. Thanks guys, uh, see you next time.